welcome back. I know it has been a while since my last video, but trust me, I've got a good reason. I've been building my own e-commerce business, a real e-commerce business, and shipping out all the orders myself and doing everything. So I just haven't had the time to make a video. But never fear, I am back and better than ever. So you can stop DMing me saying, oh, Bex has quit YouTube. I didn't quit, all right? I'm back. So let's get into this. Now, it would be rude not to go back to my roots of the good old classic Shopify dropshipping challenge. So in this video, we are doing exactly that and seeing how far we can go with a Shopify dropshipping store with only a budget of $150. Now, it's fairly obvious that $150 isn't going to get us very far and usually I'd recommend starting with a little bit more, but here's how I'm planning to divide up this budget. I'm going to be spending $75 on Facebook ads, $37 on Snapchat ads, and then another $37 on TikTok ads. I've seen way too many dropshipping challenges of people only using Facebook ads. So in this video, I'm going to be using Facebook, Snapchat, and TikTok. Diversification, baby. Now, obviously, the goal for this challenge is to turn our $150 into as many bands as we possibly can, so I can ideally buy a few diamond-encrusted Rolexes, and of course, bringing it back to the classics, a rented Lamborghini. So with that being said, here's the plan of attack for this challenge. Step one is to, of course, find a product. Now, with this budget, we have pretty much zero room for error, so I'm gonna be spending a lot of time doing product research to try and find the best possible product for this challenge. I'm going to be looking for something that has a wow factor, solves a problem and is cheap for us to buy. Now step two, after we find the product is to build out the website. Now for this, I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy, just a basic store that looks trustworthy enough to make sales. And of course, step three is running the ads. But anyway, I'll talk more about that later. For right now, let's get into step one, finding the product. If you've seen any of the challenges that I've done before on this channel, you'll know that I've talked about a few different product research methods in the past. I've even flown into the sky and spoken to the king of fake gurus, Ty Lopez, and asked him for some winning products. But in this challenge, we are going to be keeping it very simple with using the Facebook method for product research. But let me jump into my laptop and show you guys exactly what I mean so you can see me do it live. <sighs> All right guys, so as I said, I'm on Facebook right now on my laptop and you can see that I've got this extension running here called My Ad Finder and I've clicked it to only show ads. So anytime I scroll Facebook, only things I'm gonna see are things that are sponsored as you can see here, no actual posts from my friends or anything like that. So what I'm going to be doing here is scrolling Facebook, looking at all the ads I can and seeing ads for actual dropshipping products from dropshipping stores. Because if there's a dropshipping store that's spending a lot of money running Facebook ads for their product, it's pretty obvious to say that they're clearly making making sales and making a profit because if they weren't making any money, they just wouldn't be running the ads. So we're pretty much using a guaranteed way to find products that are selling well for other people. And that's a fantastic strategy in my opinion and one that's worked very well for me. So without wasting any more time, I'm gonna jump back into Facebook, keep scrolling and let you guys know when I found a product that I think we could test. All right guys, so I found a product that is clearly a dropshipping product. We can see the name of the page is Moser World and it's these magnetic sort of stick and ball things. What did he say? Hey. So the next step is to go ahead and find this Facebook page in the Facebook ads library, which is gonna tell us exactly how many ads for this product that they are running. So I'm in the Facebook ads library now and I can see that overall, in all countries and all ads that they're running, they're only running eight ads. We only wanna consider products that are running at least 30 ads because in my opinion, 30 ads means they're spending at least a few hundred dollars a day and making solid sales with this product. But as you can see from this page in Moser World, they're only running eight. So that's just not enough for me to consider this for testing. All right, so for some reason, when I was filming that last clip, I kept hitting the microphone with my hand and you just cannot understand a word that I'm saying. For a little bit more scrolling, I have come across a pretty solid, but I eventually found a product that hit our criteria and hit that 30 ad minimum in the Facebook ad library. Well, it actually had 29 ads, but whatever, close Ooh. enough. And the product is actually a pet hair roller, which looks like it works really, really well and looks like it could go extremely viral. Now, this isn't a product which I would personally buy because unfortunately, my white fluffy rat dog doesn't actually drop hair so I don't have any use for it. You don't drop hair, do you? No, I don't, you fuck. I didn't think so. But if you did drop hair, I would buy this product. Put me down before I fuck bite you. Okay. 
But I checked out this product on AliExpress and confirmed that it is a problem solving product, has a wow factor and is cheap for us to buy as well, only coming in at a few dollars per unit. The only downside that I'm really seeing with this product is that it doesn't have a super high perceived value, which means I don't feel that customers are really gonna pay a lot of money for this product. So I think the best way to go about selling it is seeing if we can bundle the product and have the average customer purchase two or three to get the average order value up and then start making some profits. So that's the plan. But for now, we've found the product. Let's actually get the video ad sorted. Now for this, I'm going to be using Bands Off Ads, which is a company that creates video ads for dropshippers. Now I see way too many people undermine how truly important your video ad is when it comes to dropshipping. Because I am not lying when I say your video ad is one of the most important factors when it comes to dropshipping, and that's one of the main factors that's actually gonna make you successful and make your product profitable. Now, if you've seen my channel before, you would know that I literally never accept any sponsorships and never accept any brand deals, except if I actually use the product or service myself. So when Bands Off Ads reached out and offered to sponsor this video, it was a no brainer for me because I genuinely use the product myself and their video ads are so good. So right now I'm gonna head back into the office, jump into the computer, order the video ad, and we'll get that back within 24 hours. All right, so ordering the video ad is super simple. I just went onto the website, logged into my account and purchased a single video ad, which is going to be the video ad that we use for our Facebook ads and use for all that sort of stuff. Then once I've added that to cart and paid for it, a little button comes up that says submit questionnaire, which is where I can actually submit the details of the product. So Bands Off Ads knows what the product is. So in those boxes, I simply paste the link of the product on AliExpress and paste the link of the store that I found selling it as well. So they're gonna go ahead and scour the internet, compile all these clips edit them together and send that back to us so now we've officially ordered the video ad now we just gotta wait all right so while we wait i'm gonna go ahead and build out the website using shopify of course as i said earlier i'm not going overboard with this just gonna do a super basic design that's easy to navigate on mobile easy enough to check out and purchase the product because that's all we need for this challenge so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and i'll update you guys as i go along i started by whipping out the old photoshop and designing a logo for the store then i went to aliexpress and google and found pictures of the product to write the description as well as some dot points and things. Then I went to Jiffy and turned this video from the AliExpress listing into a GIF for the store. Then I created some product images with our logo and finalized the design. So I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of the website for you guys, as you can see I'm on mobile. So right off the bat, you see the product images which I found from AliExpress but added my logo onto the bottom for a bit more professionalism. Then as we keep scrolling, you can see I offer three packs, the single, the double, and the triple. Obviously we want people to purchase the triple as we make the most profit on that one. And if we keep scrolling, you can see I've added a few selling points, a few pictures that I found on Google, as well as the GIF that I created on Giphy, like I mentioned before. But overall, it's a pretty basic design, nothing too crazy, but ideally it's good enough to make a few sales for this challenge. All right guys, it's been 24 hours and I just got a notification that Bands Off Ads has returned the video ad, so let's go ahead and watch it. So I'm in here now, here is the actual video file. Really good right off the bat. This is the thing about Bands Off Ads, if I had to go out and find all these clips myself, this literally would have taken hours and been such a hassle, so in my opinion, this is worth every single cent. Wow, that is exactly what we needed. They did a banger job of that. I'm super impressed. Now, if you want to drop ship and you want to get a banger video ad from Bands Off Ads as well, I do have a discount link in the description which you can click, sign up, and use code Baxter and you'll get a little bit of money off. If you use that link, it really helps support the channel and it means a lot to me. So if you want to get a video ad, go ahead, use that link, use the code Baxter, and as you can see here, you will not be disappointed. But now we've got the video ad done. We are officially ready to get into the marketing, the fun part. So let's head into the office and do that right now. So with the ads, I'm just going to do something super basic and run three ad sets on Facebook, all running at $20 per day. The targeting on those is to the top five countries and each ad set has one main interest. One of them is targeting pets, the other one targeting dogs, and the last one targeting no specific interest at all. Now, the reason that one of the ad sets is targeting no interest whatsoever is because when you're selling a product as broad as this, like this pet scraper, which almost anyone can actually use, targeting an audience with no specific interests can actually work really well and get you really cheap cost per purchase, but it can also work in the other direction and get you no sales whatsoever. So I'm just trying it with this product to see what happens, but I'll turn it off if it's doing badly. I personally predict that with our Facebook ads, the dog ad set is gonna be the most profitable just because I feel like pet owners are gonna be able to use this product the most 
and that's the ad set that's gonna do the best. Now, for the Snapchat ads, I actually took that video that Bands Off Ads delivered, which was a square video which we used for Facebook ads, and I put that video into a vertical video and added some text on the top and bottom just to make it fit the vertical video format which is required by Snapchat. For Snapchat, I ran those ads at $35 and we'll leave those running for one day to see what happens. I also targeted pet lovers on Snapchat because that was an interest that it let us target and obviously that makes sense for this product so that's the one that I chose. Now for TikTok, I unfortunately come bearing bad news and that's because I didn't actually get the product myself and couldn't make my own video ad and on TikTok, the only ads that really perform are ads that are made in the TikTok video ad style which is like when you review the product, say oh wow I just bought this online and it's super good. That sort of style of ad where it seems like a review and doesn't really stand out as an advertisement. But do not fear, I'm gonna come back with another challenge where I'm gonna do specifically TikTok ads only and get a product that I can make my own video of. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that because I'm gonna be dropping that TikTok challenge very soon. Anyway, the ads are now confirmed for Snapchat and Facebook. So we're just gonna to have to wait and see what happens and I'll update you guys as we go along. All right guys, the first update for the challenge so far is here. The ads went live last night and have been running all day today. And I'm happy to tell you that we have indeed made our first sale for $39.95 if that focuses in. So obviously not too bad making one $40 sale, which is for the highest bundle we offer, which is for the free Miracle Brush Rollers. I'm gonna leave the ads running and keep updating you as we go along. Hopefully we make a few more sales. Now I couldn't do more live updates on camera, but I did take a screenshot of the sales notifications as you can see here. Okay, it's time for the final results. What happened with the ads? Did we make a profit? Let's find out. So first, let me tell you what happened with Snapchat ads because oh my, that was so annoying. I literally created the campaign over and over again, but for some reason, even after the ad got approved and everything like that, it just wasn't delivering and the budget just wasn't being spent. It was just stuck at $0 the entire time. I've ran Snapchat ads before with no issues at all, but for some reason this time around, no matter how many times I deleted and redid the campaign, it just would not work. So yeah, unfortunately that was a flop, but at least we didn't lose any money. It obviously could have been worse. It just sucks because I really thought Snapchat was going to be a key part in us making some good profit because I really thought this product was one that would do really well on Snapchat, but oh well, it happens. So I just let the Facebook ads spend the entire $150 budget, which is pretty ironic considering I was talking smack at the start of the video saying I was going to diversify, but at the end of the day, our reptilian overlord Mark Zuckerberg has prevailed, but it's right. I'm sure he can use the money wisely and buy some more sun screen because he definitely enjoys lathering that up on a hot summer's day. Anyway, here's how the Facebook ads performed. I'm filming this a few days after cutting the ads, but you can see on my Shopify here, we did $143.75 in sales with five orders. And we ended up spending just about $150 on ads, meaning we didn't quite make enough sales to get into the profit territory, but we were really close. Another couple of sales would have got us into the profit. Another issue I had was that the Facebook tracking in the Facebook pixel was a bit incorrect, and it actually shows on the Facebook dashboard that we made seven sales, even though in reality we only made five, which is super strange. So the only thing we really need to consider is the total amount we spent on ads, which was $152.37. As I predicted, the dog's ad set was the one which made the most sales by far. So in reality, I could continue this challenge running only that dog's ad set and make a pretty good profit because currently the stats of that ad set are pretty good and are profitable. But for the sake of the challenge, I did kill all the ad sets. But if you guys wanna use this product and run ads for yourself on it, feel free, be my guest, because it definitely can do well with the right ads. So in total, we sold nine rollers because a few people bought the bundle packs. So at $2 per unit, that's $18 worth of cost to send out those orders, meaning in total for the challenge, we lost about $25. And if you include the domain name, which was another $14, that comes out to around about a $39 loss for the challenge. But as I said, the dog's ad set, which is currently doing well, could actually have brought us into profit if I kept that running. So overall, I'm not really too upset with these results and there was definitely some learning and some value in this. So that's fine with me. I'm happy to take that $39 loss. It's whatever. If anything, I'm actually glad to be able to provide a realistic view of what dropshipping is actually like, because obviously not every product that you test is going to be a winner. And even this product didn't really perform too badly. You could definitely test a product that makes no sales whatsoever. So overall, these results actually aren't too bad. Bands Off Ads did a killer job of the video ad as well. So as I said, if you want to use them for yourself and you want to test out some products and have a really good video ad, click the link in the description 
description, use my discount code and you'll get a bit of money off because it will definitely increase your chances of success when you have a good video ad, that is for sure. So overall, I'm fairly happy with the results. As I said, it could have been much worse and I think there was still some value and learning in this video for you guys, hopefully. Now, if you have any questions about dropshipping or any online business in general, go ahead and send me a DM over on Instagram at EcomBaxter because if you've seen me before, you will know that I respond to every single DM which I receive over on Instagram and absolutely love talking to you guys. And if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. But for now, that's all from me. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hello. God of fake gurus here. Congratulations. You made it to the end of the video. Before you go though, Baxter was wondering if you could like the video and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn notifications on. Now, time to go ride in my rented Lamborghini. Bye!